Hey there, welcome to Practical Blockchain and today we are learning how to deploy smart contracts using Remix. So we are deploying a smart contract with Remix today. But the first question that you might ask is, what's a smart contract? A smart contract is nothing but code that encodes the terms of agreement for something. But what's smart about this is that this is code that's deployed to a decentralized network. And what this ensures is once the preconditions of the contract are met, the code is auto executed. So there's no time loss. There's no central authority. There's no scope of somebody doing something to stop the code from executing. It automatically does so by virtue of being part of the network that it runs on. This ensures that the smart contract is highly dependable, reliable, and secure, and you're trusting nobody else but the mechanism of the system. So what's Remix? No, it's not a K-pop song. Remix is an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, and it's used by blockchain developers all over the world to write smart contracts. Remix allows you to write smart contracts using a language called Solidity and deploy them to the Ethereum blockchain. What's great about Remix is the fact that it's very easy to download, it's open source software, and it also has a web app. So if you're looking to break into blockchain development, Remix is the fastest way for doing so. So this is the Remix IDE. It's available here at remix.ethereum.org. It's a web application. And this is what it looks like. And it's got four tabs on this site panel that you're going to need. So the first tab that we are going to be looking at is the file explorers, which is where all your files are kept. And Remix comes in pre-populated with three contracts of different complexity. The first one is storage, second one is owner, third one is valid. For this tutorial, I'm going to try and deploy the storage contract to a local Ethereum blockchain. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we do that, let's have a look at our storage contract. So that's what it is. It's written in a programming language called Solidity. And Solidity needs to be compiled into bytecode before it can be deployed to the Ethereum blockchain. So to do that, you are going to need the Solidity compiler, which is available on the second tab here on the side panel. Once you're here, let the compiler be at the stable local version. And something you need to note is that if you close this file over here, your compile button is going to deactivate. Essentially, it's going to tag the compilation process to whichever file is currently active. So say I have three contracts over here. I go to my compiler tab. I can see that it's wanting to compile the storage file right now. If I move over to the ballot contract, then it will compile the ballot contract for me. So make sure you check which contract you're compiling. Uh, for now, we are going to compile the storage contract. So we pick the storage file, we hit compile, and it's going to compile our contract and make it into an ABI and bytecode. To check out the details for the contract, you can click compilation details and it will show you the bytecode generated as well as the ABI. Uh, to know more about the ABI, I'm going to put a link in the description below and you can go and read up on it. Now that we have our compiled bytecode, we want to deploy it on the Ethereum blockchain. So to do that, we can go on to the third tab over here, which is the deploy and run transactions tab. But we don't really want to deploy it on the Ethereum blockchain for this tutorial since it costs Ether to deploy to the Ethereum blockchain and Ether costs money. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up a local Ethereum blockchain on our system. For that, you can make use of this tool called Kanash. You can go and download it and it essentially builds a one-click blockchain for you. Once you have Ganache, it looks something like this. And you can go ahead and click on the default workspace and it's going to deploy an Ethereum blockchain for you locally, which is available at this address over here. 
these are all your dummy accounts all populated with dummy ether and you can check out the blocks the transactions as they take place over here now that you have Ganache set up and a local Ethereum blockchain set up, we are now ready to deploy your bytecode to the local Ethereum blockchain. To do that, we go to the deploy and run transactions tab. We'll go ahead and change the environment to Web3 provider. And over here, please make sure that your Web3 provider endpoint is the same as the one here in the Ganache GUI, which is 9545 for me for the port. Now I click OK, it's going to connect to my local blockchain. And if you notice the account over here that it takes 6.9, uh, 6 DB is the same one that MetaMask is referring to over here, 6 DB. Now that we have that, we are going to go ahead and hit deploy. And once we do that, we see on the transactions here that there's a new transaction for contract creation. And that's how you deploy a contract to your local Ethereum blockchain. But wait, we still want to interact with the contract. So to do that, you can go ahead to the same tab and you can open up this deployed contracts and you see your contract over here and the functions available to you. So you have a store function corresponding to this and a retrieve function corresponding to this. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy a value to store. So I go ahead here and I click on store. It's going to create another contract call for me and create a transaction on the blockchain for that. And that's it for this tutorial.